Our next ministry and next presenter is Firm Foundations and Sarah Vienna. Originally from Northern California, for the past 20 years, Sarah has been living in Brasov, Romania. Did I say that right? Brasov. You all knew that, right? Just me. Okay. Brasov, Romania. I'm sorry. Home to the legendary Olympian, Nadia Kamenechi. Did I say that one right? Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm 30 years old, okay? Give me a break. It was, I do know this though, she was the first, first perfect 10 in 1976, so YouTube is a beautiful thing. Um, but Brashov is also home to Vlad Tepas, aka Dracula, uh, kind of an interesting fact. And then Sarah is a singer, songwriter, and co-founder of Firm Foundations in Romania. She has some exciting updates to share, but first, we're going to watch a video. 30 miles away from Brasov, the town of Budila is home to 5,000 Roma people. Considered the most persecuted ethnicity in Europe, the Roma, otherwise known as Gypsy, live in segregated communities and are the outcast of Romanian society. The majority of Roma are illiterate, unemployed, and live in third world conditions. At Fern Foundations Romania, we are seeking to break the cycle of poverty. We are educating the next generation through our after-school program while sharing the love of Jesus. Here at Fern Foundations Romania's Agape Center, we are providing a safe haven where children are loved, valued, and have the ability to dream. From preschool to eighth grade, Roma children are being encouraged to continue with their education and go beyond. External needs are met with a healthy meal, lessons about hygiene, and physical resources, while internal needs are met through worshiping the Lord through song, Bible lessons, and teaching the importance of prayer. Firm Foundations Romania is providing a solid foundation, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually for those in our care. All right, well, good evening, everyone. It's great to be back with all of you. Thank you, Russ Klein, for the invite. And uh, a big shout out to Jim West for making this all possible. I'm excited to share that um, Jim and his uh, colleague will be visiting us in Romania this coming July, so we are quite excited. So I have a lot to share within this time, so you know, power pose here, here we go. In 2012, we first started our educational programs in the Roma village of Budila, and uh, we were using a part of a building owned by the town hall, which you could see was quite run down. We were also not able to expand our programs nor enroll more than 130 children due to a lack of space, so we took a leap of faith and decided to build our own educational center. Two years ago, I presented here in this Orange County Barnabas, and I shared that we were just embarking on a capital campaign. And as you can see from the video, not only did we raise uh, 800,000 to achieve our fundraising goal, we completed our beautiful 5,000 square foot seven classroom building that we have named the Agape Center. Since opening in November 2022, we have enrolled more than 230 students. That's 100 more students whose lives are being transformed. So we're praising God about that. Uh, we, <laughs> yes, thank you. We utilize an innovative way of building our building using shipping containers brought in from Denmark. And I know that probably a lot of uh, general contractors and architects out there were kind of scratching their heads wondering, how's this building going to turn out? And believe me, I was doing the same thing. But I have a great report. The building turned out amazing. And I'm gonna share some videos, some, some pictures of our construction journey. We purchased land in December of 2019. And then we demolished the existing buildings during those dark ages of COVID. And then <laughs> we poured the foundation. And then one by one, eight shipping containers arrived and we stacked accordingly to the building design. And then this is an aerial view of, this is about halfway through our construction process. And you can see the beautiful surroundings. Um, and then we built the roof. Then on the exterior walls, we added the stucco. And then fast forwarding, fast forwarding to the completed building, we have a beautiful building that is uh, economically cheaper to build, it is fireproof, earthquake proof, and easy to add on to. So we are very excited and grateful to the Lord. You may have seen a playground on the front of our property here. So this was a project that we made a collaboration with kids around the world, whom I met here at Orange County Barnabas. See, Barnabas is great. We meet so many people, right? So through the sponsorship of our board, um, we were able to build not one, 
but two playgrounds, one in our property and one in, uh, at the town hall property on their land for the community. So we're pretty excited about that. And as you know, playing is important for kids because it stimulates the brain to learn. So we're grateful to have our own uh, playground. Our Agape Center is having an amazing impact. Why? Because it's opening up the eyes of Roma students to a whole new world <laughs> of opportunity and growth. Russ didn't allow me to sing this time, so I have to just sing, right? 77% of Roma students drop out of school before they reach secondary education. In other words, before they reach eighth grade, three-fourths of Roma students will just quit school. And so this is our goal. Our goal is to change those statistics. In our after-school program, we are meeting kids academically where they are at, and we're catching them, up, catching them up to state school standards. For our older teenage students, we're taking them on field trips, we're showing them different trade schools to share with them different career opportunities that, you know, that's stimulating to them, that engages them. And they know that they have our support to encourage them through their school and future goals. In addition to education, our program offers a holistic approach to help with their daily lives. Physically, we're teaching them about proper hygiene. 95% of Roma families do not have any plumbing in their shack-like homes. So one of the most exciting part about our Agape Center is the bathroom because the children love to go and wash their hands in a new sink and flush a toilet where it's clean and it's private. Um, so never take for granted your bathrooms, ladies and, gen ladies and gentlemen, right? <laughs> We're also providing much dental needs services. The majority of Roma children, they have severe decay, severe abscesses. We recently just had three, uh, three uh, dentists, one dentist from Northern California, who's my dentist, come out and do preventative care on our Roma students. Uh, the kids are in such need of this. And our goal is to have dentists come out a couple of times a year. Uh, we recently had a missionary who is an occupational therapist from Colorado Springs join our team. And she's providing OT therapy care, which helps develop fine motor skills and improve developmental delay. Occupational therapy is actually non-existent in the country of Romania. So this is really a trailblazer care in this country. So we're excited about that. Our teachers have shared with us that they can notice a difference in a child's attention span and behavior after a half hour session. So we know that this is making a difference. Most importantly, our goal is to bring the gospel to these kids, and they are learning about who the Lord is, and they're valuing, they're, they're feeling valued by the Lord and by our staff. They're learning Bible lessons, they're learning how to pray, they're learning how to sing songs of, of worship, and um, understanding that they can trust the Lord, and that's what it's all about, right? That's why we're here. We have children in our program, um, yeah, from all ages, and we have one little, one little guy in our preschool, his name is David. He has a very sad story. His father came home intoxicated, as many Roma men do, and he placed David in a little side room, and then he proceeded to murder David's mother using a butcher knife, the same knife that he used to kill the lambs for Easter. It's just so, it's, it's, an, it's an unbelievable story. He then proceeded to bring David to his grandmother and then turned himself into the police. It's just a needless story, but these are, this is what's happening to our kids in these dark villages. Children like David need a safe haven, a place of hope and peace, and that is why we built our Agape Center. We wanted to be a light in their darkness. We wanted to pro provide a firm foundation to help them emotionally. We wanted to create a safe haven where teachers love their students, and students love their teachers. So that's our goal. However, with growth comes challenges, and we know that many tall men out here know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> yeah, since 2005, we've been known um, for running our international volunteer program at the Brush Off State Children's Hospital. This is where we continue to provide volunteers to hold, feed, care, and love babies that have been abandoned. And we currently still provide over 30,000 diapers on an annual basis. However, over the past few years, the babies, abandoned babies, have dwindled significantly. And we credit this to our Roma educational programs where we are discouraging teenage pregnancies and abandonment. So it seems like our time is to switch the focus of volunteers and donors from holding cute babies 
to our educational programs in the Roma Village. But this is a hard sale, if you want to say. Why? Because first of all, we have a language barrier. The older kids, preschool to eighth grade, you do need to speak Romanian with babies that you hold and cuddle. That's Gugu Gaga language, right? So there isn't much of a need. And then we have the location. We built our Agape Center in the Roma Village. That's 30 minutes outside from the Brush Off City Center where volunteers stay. So then we have our transport problem. And then we have volunteers wanting to hold babies. That's endearing, right? The little precious innocent babies. Volunteers who are mothers and fathers, they tend to want to escape their older children <laughs> and come and cuddle babies that don't talk back. So, then, so that's our problem. And lastly, a lack of understanding of who the Roma people are the need, there's such a huge problem in Romania and people are not educated about how impoverished and segregated they are and they, that they need volunteers like ours. So these are our, our challenges, but this is why I am here tonight to ask a Barnabas members for your help. And how you can do that is through a Barnabas consult, AKA old school SWAT. Um, we want to rebrand, remessage, refocus and uh, yeah, help our leadership team kind of just switch our own focus to educational programs. Board counseling, we have a great team. We have a total of board members of seven people. We feel that we can utilize their skills more and uh, don't tell them that. And uh, so we, we're asking for that help. Uh, leadership, fundraising, coaching, could always use your input. And uh, lastly, join us on September 24th this year. We're holding our third annual gala event at the Huntington Beach, in Huntington Beach at the Hyatt Regency. This is gonna be an amazing time where we share stories. We share stories and uh, we share where we're heading. There'll be music, I'm releasing a new album, so I'll be singing some more new songs and uh, there'll be a comedic relief by Christian comedian, Carrie Pomarelli. She, she's, um, she was awesome at our last event, so I guarantee she will make you cry tears of laughter. So please join us, our table's over here. You can grab a save the date. And uh, Proverbs 22, 2 says, the rich and the poor have this in common. The Lord God is maker of them all. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, thank you Sarah. Thank Pray you. with me for Sarah. Father, we just thank you. What, a, what an encouraging report just of what you've done in the last couple of years. Thank you for just the idea of collaboration and connection. And, and thank you that Sarah has been encouraged by people in this community and um, we're just excited about what you're doing uh, in her and through her uh, at the Agape Center, mm -hmm. and we're just excited. Thank you for um, what she shared, the opportunities that she's asking for help, and we just lift her up. Um, the vision, the continued work with this community, that lives would come uh, to experience hope and, and life in you. Lord, we love you and thank you in your name. Amen. Thank you. Thank if you, you turn to page 13 in your book, just take a moment and respond to Sarah.